Let's compare 9.97 to 9.9 to 9.798. So to compare to figure out which one of these is greater, I like to start with the largest place values and then and then keep moving to smaller and smaller ones until we actually see a difference. So they both have 9 ones. So they both have 9 ones. So at least in the ones place they seem comparable to each other. Now let's go to the tenths place. So this number on the left has a 9 in the tenths place, while the number on the right has a 7 in the tenths place. So right now we could view this. Let's just write the whole numbers out. So this one is 9 plus 9 tenths. We haven't gone to the hundredths place yet. So far out of the two digits, the two places we've looked at, this one on the right, this one on the right is 9 plus 7 tenths plus 7 plus 7 tenths. So this immediately cues to me that this, the one on the left is a larger number. You're like, hey, how do I know immediately that's the larger number? I have all this other stuff to the right. I have this 9, 8 to the right. I have this 7 to the right. And the way to think about it is, no matter what you have, even if you if you really increase this right hand side here as much as much as possible, you're still less than 9.8. In fact, if you keep incrementing the thousandths here, you go from 9.798 to 9.799 to 9.8. So you would have to actually increase to get to even 9.8, and this is at 9.9. .9. So you can really just look at the, the discrepancy in the largest place value to recognize which number is greater. This has 9 tenths. This has 7 tenths. It doesn't matter what's going on in the hundredths and the thousandths place. And to make that clear, let's actually add up these numbers and compare them as fractions. So let's keep on going with this. So you have 7 hundredths here. So you have 7 hundredths here. And here you have 9 hundredths. So here you have 9 hundredths. And then finally, here you have zero thousandths, thousandths, and here, let me do that in a different color. I, use, I already used blue. And here you have eight thousandths. So plus eight over a thousand. So let's, let's put everything in terms of thousandths so that we can add these all up and have fractions both, or have two fractions over a thousandths, or things in terms of thousandths. So nine is the same thing as nine thousand over a thousand. Nine tenths, well let's see, if you multiplied it by ten, you'd get ninety over a hundred. Multiply by ten again, you get nine hundred thousandths. Seven hundredths multiplied by ten is seventy thousandths. And let's do that over here. Once again, nine is nine thousand over a thousand. And then plus seven hundred over a thousand plus 700 over 1,000, plus 90 over 1,000, plus 90 over 1,000, just multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, plus 8 over 1,000, plus 8 over 1,000. And so what is this number on the left? This number on the left is, how many thousandths is it? It's 9,907, no, sorry, 9,970. So it's 9,000, 9,900, 970, and 70 thousandths. While this number on the right here is, the number on the right here is 9,000, 9,700, 798, 98 thousandths. So here, once again, you're comparing two numbers. They have the same number of thousands. This has 900. This only has 700. So even though this is almost 800, 800 is still less than 900. So no, no matter how you think about it, the number on the left, the number on the left is greater than the number on the right.